Awesome, welcome back to Shady Harbor. It's me, Little Fox. I'm wearing my um, Sennheisers today because I was wearing them yesterday and they are not as good quality as my um, 7.1 surrounds from like the G, uh, I think it's, I, the, what, the one I have is the Artemis Spectrum, it's the G933. I think they've updated to the 935s, but they are the best headphones the best sounding headphones for games I have ever used. Um, I have used, I, I've got a pair of the Asus ones. I don't like them. It's not just the headphones, Logitech software. I, I'm not an expert, so I'm sorry if I'm going to anger people. But for me personally, the Logitech software is Simple to install, easy to update, and seems to make things sound good. Good. Um, so yeah, that's why I like Logitech. All right, so um, this was annoying me before. I'm gonna see if I can just um, fuck with it a little bit to make it work better. Um, I don't really want to spend too much time on this damned curve thing because, uh, yeah, it, 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 it is, it is angering me that it is working in this way. I'm thinking I might actually, um, widen it a bit again. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. Fuck it. Hey, welcome back. Sorry that I was um, late today. Um, I found it very difficult to get out of bed. Yesterday was uh, exhausting. Um, I am. I, I, I was so exhausted yesterday. Um, it was a fun stream, and I want to do more. I, I like. I, did you guys enjoy? Did you enjoy the um, cooking stream? We're waiting, just waiting for the response. This doesn't mean that I'm going to change the whole other highway thing. Or it might mean that, who knows. Oh, thank you. I, I had so much fun. It was so much fun and, like, I had so many new people come along and, um, like, get interested in it. I'll be right back. I just want my drink. But yeah, I, I, I made the mistake of choosing the recipe that I make, like, uh, I, I actually spent years developing that recipe that I made yesterday, so which I'm very proud of. Um, but it is a recipe which takes hours, it's very labour intensive. So yeah, that's the only downside of it. Also, this is, I've, I've basically created a dam, I've, made, made, I've, I've made, built into the uh, side of the, um, of the waterfall to make it look like it's a dam, so. Uh. Pardon me. Now, I'm pretty sure that they've fucked something in this game, um, in the way that the, um, metal beams work, they don't work in exactly the same way, uh, which is fucking frustrating. There's, there is a, a workaround for it that I figured out, but, like, it's frustrating that the way I was using it doesn't work anymore. 
which is fucking frustrating. Poor me. I don't like it. So, like, what's happening here? So what would happen is I'd have one going that way and the other going another, but check this out. It's hardly noticeable, right? But check that out. It's not snapping to the girder anymore. Which is bullshit. I wonder if that'll snap. Gosh, the, the reason I don't tend to use my uh, Bluetooth um, rather than my uh, Logitechs um, is that it does sound weird. Okay, so... <sighs> Damn. Actually, th so, so... Yeah, if you notice, it's working with uh, foundations, but it's not working with um, the other th stuff. I'm so trying to write about you, and I suddenly send the best post the young. Hate you. Oh, okay. Is is there any way I can help? I'd love to help. I'd love to help. I like to talk about that stuff. <sighs> Yeah, three-way, having a three a three foundations is better because uh, I can cover up a bit of stuff a lot easier, so. This might be a better way of doing it, actually. Because I don't need to do two, uh, two, um, beams. Pete Buttigieg. Hey, did you want to hear something based? I just found this on Twitter. Oh, hey. Frosting the birthday clown. Okay. Gotta, gotta love the people that I like. I, I, I don't understand the sexy clown stuff, but like for some reason the sexy clown stuff is really like bo body positive. So I'm, I, I like it. Kudos to frosting. Um, I think sometimes they post nudes, um, which, so I should be more careful about opening my Twitter. Um, but yeah. I mean, like, I'm not into the porn stuff, but like a lot of the people that do like the sexy clown pictures on Twitter are very body positive and it's like really I find it aff really affirming as someone who's not like normal like body wise I've got like lots of rolls of fat under here I got a bit of a pouch because of the excess skin from weight loss and all of that sort of stuff so seeing other people just wearing skimpy clothes while not having um, the traditional, like, you know, smoothness of their bodies, like, that is generally what people find aesthetic. It's, like, really, like, it makes me feel good about myself as well. So kudos to clown porn. <laughs> um, yeah, what was I going to do? I, I liked... I liked something. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't really get that part of it, but, um... Yeah. Uh, this. Socialism. I, Bill, you redheaded fuck. <laughs> this is Bill Burr on socialism. I really appreciate socialism. the bluntness of that. How, I, how are you? Um, last week you mentioned uh, you don't know why people demonize socialism. Um, I was really taken aback at that statement. Oh, Jesus Christ. Every country that has tried socialism has failed. And it's responsible for tens of millions of deaths. All right. So would you say capitalism is working? And is, it is not, uh, you know, when like, what is it? Like 99% of the wealth is in like fucking 2% of the people's hands. All of these tent cities, you're telling me this is working. You don't think capitalism is responsible for tens of millions of deaths? Um, anyway, Russia, Germany, China, Cuba, and most recently Venezuela have... 
Germany? What? Tried or <laughs> I didn't hear that bit. Our socialist countries. Um, as far as I know, whatever Cuba was trying to do, we prevented them from doing with a fucking embargo or whatever the hell we did. We've been fucking with them for 60 years. So I think you're looking at like, you know, like what a lot of people do is you look at your own country through rose-colored glasses the same way you look at your own sports team like, oh, my team doesn't cheat, but your team does. Yeah, right? That's literally like, that's literally communist talking points. That's amazing. Like, I, I find that amazing. Like, I find that incredible. Like, that that's... That that's Bill Burr. That's Bill. That's Bill fucking Burr talking about the talking about this shit. Holy fuck, right? How cool is that? That's based as fuck. Like, and it's all true as well. Like what he said, not what the other weird guy said about. Germany? Germany was never communist, unless you're being like, uh, when, unless you're talking about uh, trying to say that, um, uh, like the Nazi Germany had something to do with uh, socialism, other than you know murdering socialists. But yeah, that's that. That was really cool to hear that this morning. Because I was not here expecting to hear that from someone who is, like, uh, put on a pedestal for being, like, a conservative comedian, you know? Like, he's, like, got so much respect from, um, conservatives, um, for being a conserv- what, what they consider a conservative uh, comedian, like, good old-fashioned co comedy, but, like, I'm really hoping. I, I I I'm really expecting to see a backlash now because of the um, you know, because of obvious reasons. Because of him defending uh, communism, Bill Burr just defended communism in literally the like he just used. I'm not. I'm not gonna like. I, I I'm not gonna mince words about this. But like Bill Burr in that segment just used the the best talking points you can use as a communist when arguing for uh, communism. Like, that's how to argue the case for communism with when you're arguing with the lib. It's, it, it's awesome. Like, like, I was not expecting to hear that from Bill Burr. So, yeah. Is this daily motion for a reason, or is it just just because that's where you found it? Let's see, and I might have a link to it. It's the great Antonio versus Antonio. There's I no video. I say it so. right, so he doesn't oh, there is a video. slap Sorry. the shit out of me. I knock you. Um, a Japanese guy. So the great Antonio. Why does YouTube keep taking it down? Then I might. I'll listen to the audio. Maybe the I'll just I'll watch without the video. That should be okay. Yo, it's this guy. I I can't even describe what he looks like. He looks like a fucking troll with a page boy haircut, and he's just What's ridiculously fat. And he's wearing the ugliest mustard colored yellow like sweatpants with these military boots on. Um. Just not a good looking person. And he's uh, wrestling this guy, Antonio Anaki, who's a Japanese guy who looks like a fucking movie star. You know, he's got the old school movie star chin. He's got the Jack Lord Hawaii Five O fucking haircut. He's in great shape. So they start fucking wrestling and uh, wrestling. And, you know, 
the Japanese guy is, is being a fucking professional and the great Antonio, who I guess had a reputation for not selling people's moves and being selfish in the ring, you know, the Japanese guy would punch him in his fat stomach and he wouldn't even move. And then the, f the fat dude would keep like punching his stomach like it's hard as a rock and people were laughing in the crowd. The fucking guy, like the Japanese guy throws him off the fucking uh, ropes yeah. and the guy just sort of stops. You know, it doesn't sell the fucking move. And the Japanese guy's looking at him like, what the fuck? And the crowd's laughing. You start seeing the Japanese dude looking at him like, dude, what the fuck? So long story short, they get a few minutes into the round. The Japanese guy has been selling everything the fat fuck's doing. The fat fuck's making the Japanese guy look like an idiot. So fat fuck gets the Japanese guy against the rope. And he's punching almost like the back of this guy's neck super fucking hard and the guy takes like three of them before he finally like blocks the fourth one and then he just snaps like dude what like fuck this and he just stands up and just open hands slaps this fat fuck in the head as hard as you possibly can <laughs> and the fat page boy guy like turns his head it's fucking phenomenal and the japanese guy's going like going making those like come on let's fucking fight and the fat fuck's still kind of like thinking he's just going to take one. He slaps him in the fucking head again, then grabs his leg. Japanese dude just snaps, fucking throws him on his belly, boots him in the fucking head. Right now the ref is going like, whoa, whoa, hey, whoa. <laughs> so the fat fuck's crawling around like a dog. And the Japanese guy boots him in the head again. Now the fat guy is like fucking planking. He's laying down on the ground and the Japanese guy boots him in the head like another fucking six times. It's almost attempted murder. The fucking dude is a bloody mess. They finally just called a match. And um, it was one of the great pieces of justice I ever saw. I didn't feel bad for the guy at all when he was getting booted in the head. I was dying laughing. If you saw how hard this, this fat fuck was punching this poor Japanese guy in the back of his neck. And he, the guy was taking it like a pro. And just finally he was just like, what the? Because it was, it was like he was hitting it for real. Um, and he wasn't selling his moves. So you got, I'm, I'm going to, um, have a link for it. If anybody else has some good ones up there, I, it's just a whole new part of YouTube that, uh, you know, if you're at work, if you're bored right now, just look it up yourself. Shoot matches, S H O O T matches. And, uh, there's just some legendary ones. And, um, um, nobody talks about all these fucking wrestling matches out there that, uh, suddenly, um, that suddenly became real, you know? So, um, I don't know. I hope you enjoy it. That's all I can say. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't know much about wrestling. I know what he's talking about with about selling the thing, though. Um, that's got to do with, um, you know, ma making it, like... Some pe there's some some wrestlers which are like famous for like pretending that um, they don't feel anything like for the other guys like it's supposed to be like a tough guy act but like in my eyes it's like dickish. Holy shit! Really, that's pretty cool. Yeah, definitely, definitely um, going to stick to three, uh, the, a width of three uh, foundations. So 12 meter, 12 meter roads um, for this shit, because, uh, yeah. Like, look at that, it's so much better, so much easier as well. I could, like, like move this over a little bit, but, like, I, I don't really want to fucking fuck around with that shit. That's too much effort for me at this time. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. I would love, like, if I had the money for it, right, um, what I would love to do is build a um, is start a, um, what do you call them? 
Um, the word that I'm looking for. I'm looking for a word. I can't can't think of it right now. Actually, yeah. No, I'm gonna continue around with this kind of pillar pillar action. I think for now. Um, hold on to those though. Finish the rest of this part. Sick. One, two, three. All right, cool. I'm just thinking. I'd like to make uh, to do a uh, housing co-op uh, system to try and home people and do that sort of thing. So home homeless people and also create like communities around like homing people basically. I think that would be that that would be the best thing. The only reason I would become a landlord, so to speak, uh, would be to um, be for for that to be my full time job as someone who organizes uh, home like homing efforts. So the efforts to actually home people properly. Um, cool. Yep, that'll do. So that more people can have access to properties and try and basically work together. It's basically a way of doing afford doing an affordable housing scheme without without relying on the government to um, basically create it and build it because we can't rely on government to do these things for us because it's just not something which is um, worthwhile for the government to do. Like the, the government doesn't get anything out of treating people like, you know, human beings uh, unless there's some form of profit involved. Which is sad, but, you know. <sighs> That's pretty funny. With the crocodiles. Seems a bit dangerous as well. Sounds like a crazy cunt. A mad motherfucker. That's good to know. Yeah, saving prisoners of war is based. Oh, hello. Hiding down there. Ah! Yeah. So it would be working together with people on low wages um, to basically um, home people in a way that uh, government just doesn't do. Because the government doesn't, doesn't do that. And Praxis 
true praxis as a as a um, anarchist would be fucking just doing it. And that's what I advocate for. Just do it. Can't wait for the government to solve the fucking problem. Because they won't. We shouldn't expect them to. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, and there's a lot of homeless in uh, Tokyo. I've seen the communities there. When I was when I went through Tokyo, I was like absolutely stunned by just how much uh, uh, of a homeless problem that that they have. That uh, doesn't seem like anyone has any. Um, incentive to fucking solve. Maybe he's off. Huh. It's interesting. Yeah. Well, it's just like Bill Burr says, right, in that freaking clip. It's like, do you think capitalism has fucking done a good job? Do you think capitalism is working? Yeah, the work culture is awful. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's a good point. That's the only point that uh, Bill Burr, Burr is, like, slightly wrong on, is... Uh, is, is this act, acting as though um, it's not by design, you know? Because it's, it's by design. It's working as as is... As it's supposed to. <laughs> Can't act as though, like, this isn't, it's like accidentally fucking people's lives up. Nah.
Yeah. And uh, but like it's important just to remark there though that when we when we say it's working as intended when we're not we're not saying that like there's someone some greedy rich billionaire rubbing their hands together as if like you know, they're, they're like, ha ha ha, I, I have caused pain to these people. Like, it's not as if there's some sort of, like, evil mastermind trying to fucking do this shit. This is just what happens. This is just the side effect of capitalism working as it, as it, as it always has. Yeah. Yeah, perpetual growth. Damn it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Wait, Disco Elysium 2 is dead before it even starts? How so? I still need to play that. I have it. No, I just haven't played it yet.
Ah. Uh, fuck's sake. Yep. Destroy everything that's good out of the game to, uh... Ah, uh, fucking make as much money as you can out of it. Yep. Jeez. That was the only thing that interested me out of the game, really. But why do you have to make my video game political? Fuck you, it's better that way! I cannot see what I'm building! Making an an- wait, is that an actual quote? Or are you just, like, paraphrasing? Because that would be fucking hilarious. But my video game politics... This actually look is starting to look like an actual dam though. That's pretty fucking awesome. I mean, damn. <laughs> uh... Last one.
Damn it. Yeah, that makes it look a little bit less choppy. Lionel Richie, hello. Is it me you're looking for? I know it's. I know that I am all y'all looking for. I am what y'all are looking for. How are you today? Dang it. Yeah, it looks a lot better, like that. Three, four. Two, three. Wait a minute. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's correct, I'm pretty sure. really hard to say. So I'm gonna have to, I guess, climb up there. I don't really want to waste my uh, fuel, so we climbing. Pull the Kima Tama. The year will be over very soon. Yeah, you're not wrong about that. That's right. Yep. Fixed it. And now the last one. Gotta hope I get up there in time. Nope. Bugger. This gonna be a ladder job. I don't know, I didn't hear it. I haven't heard anything back. So who knows? Who fucking knows? Maybe they just pussy out, Ooh, but more more likely I'm very insignificant person and uh, the amount of time that people have for me is limited. So that's probably the most likely uh, reasoning. Um, that is very incorrect. So I need to get behind it, maybe? Yep, yeah, that's correct. I did it! Fuck am I? <sighs> I 
I don't think that's necessary. Alright, well, that's what it's going to look like from now. Hopefully. No, I hope it'd be a good debate. That's a, I'd I'd love to I'd love to do something entertaining. I think that dam looks damn fine. Ha! Look at that. Shady versus the Paleo Christian Zen. I, I just can't get over the fact that, that, that he uses a word like Paleo Christian. I love it. Wait, Paleo Conservative. Not Paleo Christian. Google it. Oh, fuck off. Oh, fuck. Shoe on head. So, Sean Head is someone I've never reacted to, never watched the content of, never had interactions with. This is... How how recent is this? When was this? Um, so, I don't know much about Sean Head. Hold on a second. Let me just double check. 17th of September. Very recent. Okay, okay. Because I know their old stuff is different from their new stuff, apparently. But, yeah. No, it's like a green text. Be me in an escape room, have to shit my pants. Anyway, hello everybody. This is a segment, I think. Chat, everybody say hello. SDL, friend of the stream. Apparently, apparently she is, but she keeps on like railing against like gay people. It's fucking hard to tell with these people, I swear. Posted this meme. There's a guy over here on the left saying, it's not my job to educate you. Your views mm -hmm. aren't total garbage. What do you want, a trophy? Do your own learning. Google is free, PayPal me. And there's a guy on the right. You want to know more? Awesome, here, have some scientific arguments for racism. Wait, let me get my Muslim race <laughs> rape statistics. Commies and Jews have infiltrated everything. I'm the only educator you could trust. This meme is like a Venus flytrap for the people it's making fun of. Utterly bizarre thing to tweet out, lol, people become Nazis because left-wing people are too mean and gatekeepy while Nazis are nice to them. What? Yeah, well, no. That's fucking dumb. That's fucking dumb. People don't become Nazis because that's such lib shit. People don't become Nazis because, <laughs> because the lefties are mean to them. They become Nazis because they're fucking Nazis and they believe in Nazi shit. And and lefties hate them because they like Nazi shit. That that's it. Lefties don't like <laughs> Nazis. What? Craven horseshit from a brass and horseshitter. So that's not what this meme is saying, first of all. There's people and I've seen also, sock done left is cringe. I have had I've eight years on the internet. There's people who they don't really have. They're not set in their beliefs. You know what I mean? They're not. They're, they're probably not even extremely political. They don't know much. Who like they're just like floating around. Maybe some of you are, are guys are that, right? And then maybe they have a question, or maybe they talk about something, and they're talking to a left wing person. This is how a lot of them at least were back in the day. It's not my job to educate you, Google it, you know, not my job, you know, shit lord. And people on the right are so eager. And they're eager to bring people in. You what? know what I mean? Like, like, just see how they treat people who say that they leave the left, right? If you're talking to a Nazi, and they're going to be friendly, because they know you're the sort of person who's willing to talk to a Nazi, first of all, I know the guy has a swastika on his shirt, but they don't usually like do that. You know what I mean? They're not outright what? saying that they're a Nazi. They're not what? that blatant. They don't have a swastika on their shirt. What? They're saying, "Hey, I understand you. I get it." What is she talking about? Does she? Does she? Has she ever been in any of these like communities? Like, I still like. 
I still fucking troll these communities. I still in these fucking communities, in these right-wing debate circles. Like, I'm... This is... The amount of Nazis who have come through the cru the, the Crucible, like, like, through... Not the Crucible, but, like, through related uh, stuff adjacent to that, like, the, the right-wing shit, basically, at the end of the day. I'm not going to go into too, too deep, but, like... The amount, the, just the sheer amount of, like, Nazis that just come through saying exactly that meme, basically. Exactly that fucking meme. Is, is, is fucking hilarious. They actually do, do that exactly what that guy is doing. Fucking hell. <sighs> get where you're coming from but I'll, I'll, I'll tell you i'll tell you all about it kid Psst. come over here those 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 fucking sjw's they don't know shit this is so important to me because as somebody who has seen this as somebody who has witnessed the person on the left and the person on the right the people <sighs> who don't get it either weren't around when the person on the left was at the peak when that was leftism online they weren't around or they're that person also, if your experience of left-wing people is all of them telling you to educate yourself, maybe it's because you're clearly an, anno an incredibly annoying bad faith actor, I don't know. You're this guy, my dude. You're absolutely this guy. Why do these people just like, th they claim to be activists, but when it comes to actually doing the activism and the talking to other people, trying to convince them of their ideas, it's like, no, sorry, society is just fucked and... You can't help specific people. Like, yes, yeah. that is current society, but society is made up of individuals. And if we can help individuals on micro levels, why shouldn't we do that? I had a con- Because, um, there's ab because it's a waste of time. Well, no, no one's saying that, um, trying to convince individuals is a bad thing in and of itself, but it's a waste of time. It doesn't help. In the long run, in the long run, it just doesn't doesn't actually solve any problems. It's it's not helpful. It's not praxis. Like I think it's great if you make your platform, if you build a platform around that fucking base, do it. <clears throat> but don't act as if like you're actually um, changing anything. You're an entertainer, like get some fucking perspective as to who you are, uh, like, you don't fucking matter at the end of the day, you're just making money from talking about politics online. That's, that's your job. It's not praxis, it's, it's a job. And if you think that you are something more than that, um, then you're fucking delusional. You're just de just delusional if you think that um, you can, from your fucking uh, bedroom or office or whatever, um, change people's minds and actually make a difference in the world. Um, I, no. Because things aren't getting better. They're getting worse. And I've seen Shoe on Head contributing to this. So it's really weird for her to, to hear her say that, like, we need to, you know, talk to Nazis. Um, I've talked to Nazis for, been talking to Nazis for a very long time. Um, take my word for it, it is a waste of fucking time. They are going to find any reason that they can to advocate for your death. They will kill you if they have the chance at the end of the day they do not care about you don't don't get sucked into the idea that you can save people because like i you know what that's 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 fun and great but if we're going to start talking about what actual praxis means what actual um uh, actual like workable solutions for things we need to start from <laughs> from um, finding like minds, um, not changing minds, because changing minds, A, 
takes a lot of time, and B has no um, ha has basically current understanding of how hate groups work and uh, propagate. It doesn't work, unfortunately. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. Doesn't seem to uh, work at all when it comes to taking when it comes to um, de-radicalization um, most of most most the general consensus is there's no proof one or the one way or the other that de-radicalization either works or doesn't work um, but the data that I've seen on de-radicalization uh, when it comes to if you're going to compare de-radicalization to like conversion therapy or for, forced um, depro forced cult deprogramming you can look into that. These things don't work. People do not change their minds. You, well, sorry, people change their minds as individuals, but you cannot change their mind. You cannot impose your worldview on another person. It will not work. At the end of the day, you are talking about devoting your time and energy to a task in which there is no proven results at all, whereas, there are proven results in finding like minds and creating um, networks um, together. Like when you create communities around things. Um, boil, to boil it down, true praxis is finding like minds, not changing minds. Yeah, like once, once we have like some form of uh, actual... Uh, well, once we have actual, actual, like, um, networks in place to, like, have leftist policies and have leftist communities, then we can start talking about de-radicalizing the people that, um, um, are de-radicalizing Nazis. But, like, you can look at all of these countries who have revolutions. People don't stop having shitty fucking views once you um, enact a, uh, it, once you have communism. People don't stop being shit once you have communism. Um, they actually continue being shit. So like, and if, when, when you look into that, like you see, like the results of that are generally like executions and shit like that. And the, you know, the not fun stuff. Do you think that, um, that uh, there were executions in Cuba because uh, they were so good at changing the minds of um, capitalists? Or do you think that would just trigger happy um, psychos? Um, I have to lean on the side of... Um, like me personally, I, I, I'm leaning on the, um, people don't change their minds because you want them to, uh, or because you debate them. Um, debates are fun to watch. Uh, they are entertaining, uh, enter entertaining, and they, at the end of the day, are nothing but entertainment. And if you treat them as anything more than that, you are giving yourself a level of self-importance, which is, um, you know... I mean, you can see it from people like Soft Unleft and Vorsch and Destiny and all of these debate bro streamers who, like, have this air of self-importance around them. Uh, they, they act as if, like, their efforts are actually leading to some big change in the world. Um, no, they're just creating, creating cultish insular groups which um, brigade people online. You're not actually fucking doing anything useful. I haven't created anything useful out of that. You're just creating, like, um, creating a, um, well, you're creating a target audience to exploit, which is, which is capitalism. Now, I understand that exploitation is, is, an, is a neutral term in and of itself. I'm not talking about, like, you know, these people actually being evil I don't know how to describe it. 
good like yeah it's just stop stop with the self-important bs stop acting as if you matter more than you do because you don't you're an internet personality you are a celebrity basically effectively you're, you're just you're just celebrity that's it um yeah which is cool you know you want to you want a celebrity you want to be a celebrity fuck fuck yeah do 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 your shit whatever but don't act as if your platform is actually um making the lives of people in third world countries better don't act as if like your as if um, supporting the Democrats in America is making foreign, like, uh, foreign policy any less fucking horrific for uh, people living in um, countries that aren't Western. Like, you're not actually changing much in the long run. Oh, I had a little, I had a little, uh, I had a little uh, back and forth. So, I said to the guy, you're the guy in the first panel, get well soon. And this guy goes, are you saying that? Because you're the guy in the second panel? <laughs> yes! I mean, this is the thing, like, it's a straw man uh, at the end of the day, because I don't really, I, I don't feel like I would fit in either of those panels at the end of the day, because, like, I don't care if Nazis educate themselves because they're just going to educate themselves wrong anyway at the end of the day. You know? They're just going to educate themselves with bullshit. So why even tell a why even tell a Nazi to like um research shit for themselves cuz like yeah, they've researched shit. They've researched bullshit. They've listened to Stephen Molyneux or whatever, or whatever other fucking racist prick comes along their way. Like, what are you talking about? The point is to be the guy in the second panel as a leftist. To be the guy that says, oh yeah, this is that, this is that, this is this, you know what I mean? And I'm just like, yes, that's what every left winger should be. Do you not understand the point of this comic? Every left winger should be an eager Nazi mask off moment for you to be honest part of educating people is that they aren't empty banks to deposit information in they bring their own biases and ideologies to the table if they choose to be a nazi then there's more going on than just mean lefty told me to read a book yes this is why the left can't meme by the way they don't get simple ass fucking like comics like that everything has like they don't get it so they're like well, there's there's more than just me. Like, of course there's more. Of course there's more. Of course it's deeper than that just that, that, that the two panels. Yes. This is why Stone Toss can like make a point in three panels. But when I do like a little joke online like about how like we give too much money to the military industrial maybe because um the right like relies on very like simplistic ways of thought when it comes to dealing with issues like a simplistic way of thought you know for example you know just a thought um considering morality to be an objective um an objective uh concept uh, maybe, uh, maybe the people on the right think that the world is static and unchanging and, uh, anything that goes against that is, uh, you know, scary and, uh, leftist bullshit. Like, maybe, maybe there's reasons why, um, it's easier for right-wingers to make points in three panels because maybe, maybe they don't quite understand the reality of the world that they live in and they need it simplified maybe that's the case complex or some shit we spend too much money on the military and not fixing our own potholes and i show a picture of a pothole and there's a bunch of lefties like actually the picture of that pothole um is in the uk it's not even from america google images says that pothole picture is from the uk 
My point is, we're not spending money on our infrastructure. Actual education and unlearning of people, 1984, who are predisposed to fascism is not a matter of which YouTuber you watch first. Okay, literally ask so many people, so many young people, what their entryism into leftism, leftism was. And they, a lot of them will cite this YouTuber, that streamer, whatever. It's like, a lot of people have, like, that is their first introduction to, like, leftism. I've been that for people. Like, during the primaries, when I would cover a bunch of shit. This is one thing that really annoys me about these, these kind of streamers who, like, think that um, changing minds is, like, possible and that what they do is anything but just an entertainment source. Um, it's just... I... I I, I, I really just need to see the fucking source. I, I need to see the proof of this. It doesn't seem like they've you've got any fucking proof of any of this at the end of the day. <sighs> my issue my issue with these people is like there there is absolutely no research to show that what she's trying to say is true. She's just basing it off of anecdotal stories. If you go to places like Destiny's subreddit or to Avorsha's subreddit uh, or any of these people, like uh, like any like I, I I bet I could do the same with Sean Head, is you will see just as many people talking about being converted from the far left as converted from the far right. Like you will see people uh, becoming centrist libs, um, which to me is just not better. That's not better. That's why I think it's a waste of time. You both side is both sides in it. It's it's blood sports. It's blood sports, and people haven't um, come to the realization yet that um, oh, what's the, oh, damn it! Is hey, hey is done randomly um, still here? What do, do you remember? What what the phrase is in wrestling for when they're talking about um, uh, the script? There's there's a word. Oh, there's a phrase. I can't remember what it is. Oh. It's old carny speak. Old carny snap. Uh, old carny slang, actually. Um. Kayfabe, yeah. That's it. Kayfabe. Woohoo! Yeah. They just haven't admitted that the kayfabe exists. People haven't realized it. <laughs> Boom. People haven't realized that kayfabe is, exists. And it's kayfabe. And they're convincing themselves that... They're, they're convincing themselves that b debate bro culture is real. And it's not kayfabe. And they've just deluded themselves. It's sad. Like the Democrats being it's idiots sad. and like would like prop up Bernie and whatever. So many people are like, oh, you were, you were my entry point into all of this and whatever. It's just so stupid. It is a slow and painful process. Why has it got to be painful? Which a lot of activists doing actual work don't have time for. Also, you're a streamer. You're not in the position to lecture anybody about activism. This is boom- this is so boomer. First of all, I don't claim to be an activist. Why is that boomer? What? Has the- has the meaning of the word boomer changed? Or- or is this- or am I just like too far out? I don't do any activism. I shit- I just spew shit on the internet, right? I don't think I'm doing activism. But this is such a boomer thing, like, I said in the next thing. So do you Why not believe- there's an online right-wing radicalization problem. You'd be the first leftist I've ever come across that doesn't- Okay. This is what all of these people need to understand about the online radicalization, ra radicalization problem. Nobody is turning libs into Nazis. That's not a thing that's happened. That's, that, that's, that's not a thing. Okay. You can, like, you can, you can put that out of your mind right now. Nobody is turning people into Nazis. You fucking idiots. 
Um, the problem that we're facing right now has to do with people who have fascist tendencies being able to create groups online to organize and plan and mobilize. That's what's happening. It is not a radicalization problem. Like, yes, it's a radicalization problem, but we're, but what they're talking about isn't like, it's, it, it's not what radicalization is. Radic radicalization is like allowing people with fascist ten tendencies to actually be, become organized. That's, that's what this is. It's not about changing minds or turning people one way or another, because, like, if you believe in that shit, you're living in a fucking fantasy world. That's not how people work. Uh, and, and if you think they do, source please. Source please. Like, I, I, I have no time for it. Just like you should have no time for trying to fucking convert Nazis. Um, th there's absolutely no evidence that there is any long-term benefit to converting Nazis. There, there doesn't, it, it takes a lot of time and effort, and oftentimes it doesn't work. Even the guy who was, um, who, who was famous for, like, you know, de-radicalization, de-radicalizing Nazis turned around and said, well, mo that, that most of the people that he, uh, de-radicalized, um, went back to these Nazi groups, uh, after Trump got into office. So, yeah. You cannot change the mind of someone who has convinced themselves that there's some form of ridiculous Jewish conspiracy going on. They're not normal. They're not... They are not rational people. At the end of the day, they are not rational. It's just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous that, that, that anyone thinks that this is praxis. Like, bring up your sources. Tell me, t tell me I'm wrong. Happy to be proven wrong. You yeah. know? doesn't believe that. And he says, yes, there is an online right-wing radicalization problem. So online does matter, I guess. But it won't be solved by you, well obviously, or any of your particular political persuasion doing Twitch debates and the like. That's not what liberational or truly de-radicalizing pedagogy is. Like, so they can be radicalized, but they can't be de-radicalized. Where, what is well, the I, logic here? Well, he's like, I you just, have a real way of making- I mean, I just explained the logic there. The logic there is that the de the radicalization problem is not a problem of turning people into Nazis. It's creating groups. Ah, oh, the internet has, like, people need to learn how the internet works. People say, like, you hear people say, oh, there's so much violence in the world today. There's so much violence, so much hate, so much war. No, th no. Th there's the same amount. You're just seeing more of it because we are able to communicate more effectively. We, we need to have, like, um, internet culture as, like, a subject in, in high school because, like, this is just brain-broken logic here. Radicaliza online radicalization of right-wing people is not an issue with converting people one way or another. It's an issue of creating groups which then prey upon other groups so they so you when you create um communities these communities can organize so like kiwi farms organizes to dox people when you take down these communities the problem goes away so the true praxis in this situation like we know that when hate communities are stamped down, censored, taken off the internet, that there is less hate speech and less attacks against minorities. Like, this... You do this, this happens. We know this. We do not know that 
talking politics on the internet as a streamer makes people uh, more more liberal or more um, conservative. <laughs> like, have, have do you think that do, do, I don't th I don't believe that I've changed anyone's minds, and I don't really care if I do. I this is my job, and I've been very. Um, honest and open about that. I just want to educate people about the reality of online interactions. The, um, it's me, Little Fox. But this is shoe on head. Uh, someone who apparently believes that online debates, um, that, that de-radicalization is an effective strategy, even though we know that it isn't. We know that we, we either know that it isn't or um, that uh, we have no evidence that it works. So un until until you know someone can show me evidence that it uh, is an effective way to um, deal with the situation, then um, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna have to give a big fat um, uh, a big fat I don't care on this one. Yeah. Making people possibly sympathetic to genocidal ideology sound as if they have a childlike innocence to them. You don't seem to ask what is present in that person's consciousness that makes such thing appealing. So like, they're just saying like, if you if you are sort of curious, if you have right wing beliefs or anything, or if you're like kind of slipping into that or whatever, you just have like, your brain is it's done. It's what are you talking about? What is she talking about slipping into it? Like, as if that's how these processes work. We don't know that that's how this process works. You're just making an assumption based on your own preconceived notions of what makes a right person, right wing person, a right wing person. Like, does she think that someone changed her mind or does she, did she make the decision to like move away from the right wing herself? Is that a raccoon on her head? I don't know. I think it's just hair. Over. It's the also, American flag in the background. Cringe. Original sin. This mindset of Imperialist. don't talk to anybody who disagrees with you. Don't it's try not about not talking to people that disagrees with you. It's just like don't waste your fucking time on people who want to fucking genocide you. You, you're fucking weird. Um, that's never done anything. Let's let's sh show me, show me, show me the long term results of that. Uh, uh. understand where they're coming from don't have don't try to like make it so they understand where you're coming from he was dating just, like, why, yeah. why, i don't as, know as you as a leftist why are you why don't you want to change people's minds why do you think people like aren't you the rehabilitation types don't you think that murderers in prison can be rehabilitated oh because um um no I don't think that I, I don't think that all people can be re rehabilitated, but we should be attempting that. Um, but unfortunately, we don't live in a society where we're able to do that effectively. So, yeah. Unfortunately, we don't live in a society which allows um, the kind of uh, rehabilitative uh, processes that you're talking about, because they are highly expensive, highly time-consuming, and um, in a in a society which does not respect leftist ideals and which, you know, like the the country whose flag um, you're flying behind you um, has invested uh, a lot, a lot of money in um, destroying um, leftist countries in order to stop them from, you know, be becoming leftist. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, 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 uh, who, who is going to be doing this de-radicalization exactly? Um, do you think that, uh, debate bro streamers are going to be doing that? Because, um, again, uh, you haven't, it, you, you haven't managed to do that. It's not something that, uh, any debate bro streamer has done. Uh, you can claim you can make the claims, I suppose, but um, you don't actually have any proof of that. So... Uh, yeah. When you don't have any proof of 
your claims? Like, how can we, like... Karen is an anti-woman... Wait, what? Karen is an anti-woman slur? What do you mean? Did she say that? That's... that's... that's fucking hilarious. Karen is an anti-woman slur. That's dumb. Did she say that? I, I missed that. But somebody who's like, I just think, you know, women, I just think there's two genders. There's no coming back from that. That's it. It's over. And a lot of these people, like, they don't talk. They it's not about, like, it, they think that it's a zero-sum game. They think, they, they think that it's a zero-sum game, like, that you can either, like, ignore fascists and focus on people who matter, I don't know, this just seems really fucking strange. Like, if we actually had, um, if we had, if it was a, co if we had a communist government, you know, like, I'd be fucking right for, right behind, um, coming up with, um, better systems to, um, deal with, uh, people with fascist tendencies. Fuck yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm right behind that. But we don't live in that system. We live in a capitalist system in which there's no actual, um, there's no, there's no, like, systemic frameworks to do the sorts of things that she's saying. And at the end of the day, I'll say it again, online streaming does not de-radicalize people. If you disagree, show me the fucking study that shows that it does. The only studies that I've seen that have shown any sort of result from, um, people online... Um, have been ones that look into how to shut down hate groups. Um, that's the only, the, those, the studies that have looked into that have shown positive results. But whatever the fuck you're talking about, no. That, 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 that's just not, that, that that's just not a thing that's true. That's not true don't talk to people who don't just agree with them they just don't so they have this like they have this straw man in their mind they're all racist they're all sexist they're all transphobic there's no there's that shit they're just all terrible people it's not that they want the world to be a better place but they have like a different way to go about that and they think that's the correct way no they're all genocidal they all want to kill you so so you're just gonna be a nazi because the left is rude online people have actually gone right because the left is ridiculous but like imagine like i would make fun of that because if that was the case i'd be like hitler like, like there's <laughs> if it was if it was like Whoever's mean- if it was lunch table politics and like whoever is mean to you, you go to the other side instead, like you switch lunch tables because that table's too mean to you. I would be like so far to the right in that cafeteria. So I'm just trying to make a more fun- Wait a second. I missed some of that. I was reading your thing. Mean to you, you go to the other side instead, like you switch lunch tables because that table's too mean to you. I would be like so far to the right in that cafeteria. So I'm just trying to make a more- Fun, inclusive, left wing with blackjack and hookers on the internet. That is yeah. the goal here. <laughs> okay, here's the thing though, right? Um, she's packaged up like disagreements without talking about specific disagreements, right? So without any context, like let's put some context in there for a second, all right? So, I'm talking to someone who calls themselves apolitical, and they say there's only two genders. And then I talk- I tell them that, well, you're fucking bullshit, that's some bullshit. Um... That's- that's some bullshit. Um... F fuck off. Uh, you're a transphobic piece of shit. And then they're just like, oh my gosh! Um... I fucking hate the left. I didn't tell them I was on the left. I just told them they were a piece of shit for being transphobic. I mean, if you're offended by, like, me calling you a piece of shit for being transphobic and, you know, not wanting to make it my life's mission to fucking, um, convince you of how you're a piece of shit, um, that seems like a you problem. Not, 
and nothing had, had, had fucking nothing to do with me. What the fuck? That seems like a fucking you problem, mate. I, I just don't understand this logic. This logic is just a brain broken to me. Like, 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 if we're talking about these disagreements, we're talking about people, like even the original, the original meme, right? Was talking about, um, and the meme was fucking cringy as fuck because it was doing the whole both sidesy bullshit. Like, uh, both sides, as if like both sides are fucking, um, <laughs> as if both sides have some merit to them, which they don't um, at all. Like, if you're gonna come at me and tell me some- some shit like, oh, you know, Nazis have a point, uh, I'm gonna be like, if, like, like, fucking the Sean Hedges did, then, she's just like, oh, you know, they just have a different way of going about it. Yeah, by fucking genociding people like me, you fucking what? She slowly moved away from the original, like, framing of the meme. I can't believe we're just, like, I'm reacting to someone reacting to a meme right now. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, this is... This is Praxis. This is Praxis right here. Leftism is me reacting to, uh, shoe on head reacting to a meme. That, that, that's, that, that's, that's gonna, like, stop people from, um, being fascist. Yeah. I, I don't care about stopping people from being prax- being fascist, honestly. Um because I, A, I have no political power in which to enforce that. Um, to actually make a difference there, you need to actually have the political power in, in which to enforce that. And by enforce that, I mean actually have, like, violence in place, state violence in place to stop um, fascists from rising up, similar to how uh, Germany has attempted to uh, put that in place after World War II. Um, at the end of the day, though, like, It's just... Uh, I can't remember where I was even going with that. I'm so sorry. I'm just brain broken by this whole thing. This whole thing has just broken my brain. Shoe on head is so fucking silly. Like, but I, isn't she supposed to be around my age? Shouldn't she be smarter than this? Like, why Why are there so many streamers out there who have such a warped perspective of what they do? I don't understand. I, I don't understand that. That's so fucking weird. Hold on. I need to take a quick break. Um, to do lady stuff. But, uh, so don't go anywhere. Or do. Either way, though, I will be right back after this short break. <laughs>
Whoa. Wait, six ads? I usually just hit the three minute one because that's usually how long it takes for me to do toilet things and I'd rather only do ads when I'm not actually contributing anything to the stream. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not like Hassan! Hassan walking away! But then again, if I was just Hassan, I would have like um, ca like not cameras in the toilet, but like I'd have a TV in the toilet so I could like see at least what's happening and react to it through voice. Uh, but yeah, uh, I just hit the three minute. The longer that I do the um, ad break thing, the longer the uh, pre roll ads get turned off. So I think it makes it so that people get shown less adverts, which, you know, is a fully sick thing, fully sick fight. So. I want to combine these. Gonna be interesting. Sheet. Let's play a different game. <laughs> That's too much brain power for me right now. I really want to get my. I really want to get um, Skyrim v VR set up, but um, I have to redo that whole thing, that whole um, system now. But yeah. There is Blair Witch. I do still have Blair Witch installed, but I don't know how to get past the part that I'm actually in. So, it fucking annoys me. I'm gonna have to look up a game guide or something. I've got um, a game called Intruders installed, Hide and Seek. I installed... Um, What is it? Shadow of Chernobyl? Stalker? Well, that's an option as well. Just not good at starting new games, is all. Oh, actually, uh, there is a game that I wouldn't mind trying. The only issue with that being is that I'm not sure if I can map... my HOTUS uh, stick to it. It would be cool if I could. Um, yeah, let's see if this works. Fuck it. Just gotta plug them in. And unplug the thing that I've got at the moment. All right, uh, let's unplug. Stream dump B. That. Plug in my Google sticks. Adventure Time Leggings? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's Lady Rainicorn. I want to see if I can set this up. It's a game called Hard Space Shipbreaker.
Alright. Let's see if I can. Some levity. Levity. I like turn on this and make it work. I wonder if I can map it to that. We pick a game reward, but I don't know my game roster. Rasta! I don't know, I, I, I'm just um, trying to figure out... Um, X56 controller... Yeah, the reason the reason I'm not sure it's the options section. Where's the options? Sheet. I don't know to actually do it. Hold on. Oh, options. Sweet. Controls. Customize button maps and mapping. Controller. Rust. Focus. Aim focus required. What's going on? Yeah. What the hell? Now nothing's working. And I can't exit the fucking game. What the fuck? Game focus required? What does it mean by that? What the fuck? Okay. Aries? Taurus? No, Aquarius. What the fuck is going on here? Nothing is working.
This is really weird. Voice mod? No, I don't want to fucking open voice mod. What the fuck? Why is that even on my thing? This is so weird. Let's try again. I think I fucked something up somehow. The dawning of the age of Aquarius, the age of Aquarius. Uh, I think it was um, interacting with um, some weird shit, so I'll see if that. I just hate games that like snap the mouse into the screen. Like, why even have that? That just fucking shits me. Come on. Come on. I didn't think that it would work natively out of the out of the gate with this, but that's fine. Also, not sure why this is not working now. Not sure why this is turned off. I'm gonna turn off this controller and see if that helps. Game focus required. Thrust, thrust forward does not work.
And so apparently you can get um, a virtual virtual Xbox a virtual controller. It's Joy to Key, I think. I don't. I think I've got that installed. Install Joy to Key. Oh, I don't have that installed. I used to have it installed. Just give me a second. I'll install it now. See if I can do it through that. Because if I can, then I can just set it up through the controller settings. Okay. These are the games that are installed at the moment. I don't know if you can see them on the screen while I've uh while I'm working on this you can check those out. I'll just close the ones that I'm definitely not gonna play. There you go. There we go. You can kind of see them all there. Uh -huh. I'm sure that I purchased Joy to Key.
do I calibrate it? Oh. Oh, I see. Cool. Cancel that. Here's the thing I want to do. Basically, what is this one? Oh, okay, so, aha! So this is joystick one, this is joystick two. I need to add a joystick, I think. Options. Oh, maximum thrifty, 50, fucking hell. Joystick three is here. All right, so joystick one, joystick two. All right. Now we can start configuring shit. All right, so. Whew. Effectively. The sticks are the most important part. And I need to look what, look at what those, those sticks do. Oh, hello, Happy Puritan. The reason I'm setting up my HOTUS for this game is that it's like much, gonna be much more fun using an actual stick than it is like using a, using a controller because I don't like using these buttons too much and it wants me to use those buttons in order to um bank I think is the word Man. wake up and for some reason it seems like this is not working For some reason, it's not working. I don't know why it's not working. Very strange. So it was working with uh, when I was using my uh, controller yesterday. Yeah, what the fuck? This isn't working. Maybe if I turn these off, it'll work. It's weird. The fuck is this? And now it's time for baby news. 
with me, lead anchor, Baby Jessica. <laughs> Cat with frostbitten paws gets new feet made of 3D printed titanium. Someone needs to kill that cat. Really? I think it's, it's, it, you know. <laughs> Why is it still alive? I mean, it, the, th the funny thing is that animals, you can have like a three leg, like a dog and they just don't even realize they have three legs. They're just happy. This cat needs to have all of its nine lives snuffed out. There's no reason. What the life. fuck is this? Yeah, it doesn't look like it has ears either, Alec. Where's the babe? It's cute. It's a cute kitty. What, what sort of news story was this? Let me see that cat again. Is there cat. any other pictures of this? That's pathetic. Yeah, there's really no ears, and I don't think there's a tail either. Looks like this tail. Got these little kind of spatula I'm feet. I'm ending this show. Do you mind if I also, end this show? The, why are they using deep fakes? What is this thing? What is this fucking thing? Do you have any more news stories? I'm Baby Jessica with Baby News. Have a good day in a gaga tomorrow. So the baby news was that there was a crippled animal that should have been put to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the cat probably is a happy cat, Alec. You know, I mean, is it? it, it well, it, I don't know. <laughs> is that a happy cat to you? This is so weird. Uh, I, I, I find it. I'm finding it so hard to concentrate on this. Oh. Well, I mean, because it's just so weird and so like fucking out there. What the fuck? It's funny because does it like lick those things to like, is it like right? It can't even lick its paws. It has to lick its little spatulas. If it could speak, it would say two words. What? Kill me. <laughs> Maybe three. It would add the word now. What the fuck? What did you send me? Ah, <sighs> all right. We're gonna. I'm. I'm basically just trying to go through finding a game to play because I'm, I'm brain broken from yesterday. Yesterday was um, exhausting. Uh, yes. I've got a bunch of VR games though now. Huh. Apparently Slime Rancher, there's a VR version of that. This is a standalone one. Play. VR Playground, apparently, is a thing. But, um... Eh. Uh, man Sky. I had an idea last night, but I can't remember what it was. It's how smart I am as a person. I play space, some more Space Haven. What other base building games do I have?
<laughs> Pardon me. Right. Let's get this game started. It's been a while since I've played this game actually. Skip and the music starts. We'll meet again. We'll meet again. We'll love again. Oh yeah. New game. Delete all of the old ones. Starting from fresh. What's the best scenario to start as, I wonder? I can look that up. Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna make it from scratch. Difficulty. Let's let's be harsh. Let's be harsh. It's been ages since I played this game. All right, so Cole. I think I'm supposed to be able to edit them a little bit. Can I edit them? Can't edit them on this difficulty level? Oh, you bastard. Yeah. Fuck yeah, I'm gonna edit it. Fuck that. Oh, that's bullshit. Why can't I make it more difficult and, you know? 
Uh, why can't I make it more difficult and make it like that? Oh, that's annoying. All right, no, I guess we're going to be harsh. It's fucking annoying. Uh, see, I wanted it to be harsh, but I wanted it to be... Wait, harsh, edit. Six. Can I... Oh, I can change it. Cool, 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 cool. Back. All right, so I can edit it. Hodus with the Blizzard logo. Oh no, no, this is this is a Hodus flight stick. It's a flight stick. It's a f for flight simula simulators and, this, and the like. I was trying to get it set up for the game um, Hard Space Shipbreaker because it, it the controller is just not good enough. Uh, an Xbox controller is just not good enough, doesn't have enough accesses, um, and they should just add that to the game, honestly, at this point. But that would require me figuring out too many fucking things. Um, Alright, so be lower, real adversity. Brutal. No, we're, we're playing on harsh, and we're editing it slightly. So that I get to and all Randomness settings, pure balance. What's pure? Completely random galaxies, balanced. Yeah. Yes. Full edit. This is this is fine. I I'm happy to um do that. I just want to. I didn't realize that we could like check this stuff. That's so cool. But yeah. Next. Alright, so I can... Wait, what? Back. Save. Spicy Harsh. Playing in spicy harsh. Wait, what? Ah, cool. I can I can edit them. Yay! All right. So let's make me with my pink hair. Oh, I'm gonna have to keep on going. Unfortunately, you can't edit the. Um, you have to roll the character the character appearances every time. That's pretty close, but no. Ooh, I think that's the closest I'm going to get to mine. Whoops, I did a screenshot by accident. Whoopsies! Alright. Ah, oh, Heart of the Swarm, of course. <clears throat> Only got one cookie left. Fucking rude.
Ooh, okay, so what was my op occupation before? Comedian! Yes. My, attrib my attributes, bravery, zest. Nope. Perception. I'm gonna make myself highly intelligent. My skills. Okay. Neurotic, huh? But what skills, though? What do I plan on doing? More video games, I think. I need to play through some more horror video games, but I do have some VR horror games to go through. Um. Scorn is coming out very soon, in about nine days' time, so I'll be playing that. I think neurotic. It's probably my the best thing. It's definitely me. Peace loving. Hmm? Smirt. Charming. Okay, I'm gonna be charming. All right. Um. One, two, three. Yes. Would should I be a botanist? Medical research. Weapons. Oh, weapons. Yeah. I'll be the 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 weapons. The weapons woman. Botany will be my focus. Out of these three, these three three are important, but um, research, botany, medical. Yeah. Yes, my secondary would probably be medical. in secondary. Definitely want to be able to do everything, at the very least.
That's what I'll start with for you, I suppose. With for me, I suppose. Really care about increasing the gunner, but weapons, research, botany, and medical probably be, all all come in handy. All right, now we've got number two. Oh yeah, Corey. Occupation beforehand. Hmm. 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 Construction laborer. Oh yeah, my colors. My colors be uh, the orange and. Huh. It's pink then. My colors will be ugh. pink, pink, pink. I guess it's hot pink. It is. There we go. That's me, the Lucy. Corey, the shirt of orangeness and pants. Rates revealed after the apocalypse, bloodlust. Hero Moody. Brave. There we go.
Who should I make this? Who should I make this? Ah! Keep on pressing the wrong buttons. Now, who was Jordan beforehand? A prize fighter, just for the funsies. Um, peace loving. Jordan does not fight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, four. Why does it seem like uh, Jordan has um, less potential 
skill points. This is weird. doesn't make a lot of sense. Forty one. Exist. Nurse, armor, astronaut. Prize fighter, no. Hero, fifty six, fifty five, fifty seven. Fifty six, fifty seven. This is interesting because, like, it changes depending on. Man, he's got less less potential Then again, doesn't really need weapons, so... Here we go. Do it that way, I suppose. That's frustrating. Damn, it's so hard to find one that that's actually going to work. Hey, wimp! What does wimp do? Yep, that's cool. 
I don't want Jordan to be like the fighter anyway. Ah, oh, right. It's Rod Rodolfo. Oh, I need to like uh, give a fucking thing to. Who should Rodolfo be? Whoa. I'm just gonna try and get the maximum amount of points that I can. So. Yeah, I've got 45. 45. All right, so let's see. Guess you shall be my industry chump. Some mining skills. Um. Some weapon skills, operations, shielding, navigation, gunner. <laughs> Can I get myself another trick? This takes a long time for me to set up because I want it all perfect when I start. <laughs> Alright, so. What have we got for mining so far? 
Yep, construction. Botany. It's fine medical. It's fine researchers. Fine weapons. It's fine. So I can basically choose any of these. Medical would be nice, but um, research isn't so much necessary, but it'd be nice to have um, another construction monkey on board. And then I guess one one more choice, I guess. Construction and mining is pretty important. Um, medical is fairly important. Research, I've already got um, two people with ten. Weapons, I've got two people with ten. Botany, I've only got one person there with a lot. Yeah. You, it, 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 Alex is just like the, the 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 jack of all trades, I guess. Plus, plus, I guess I'm gonna give make them good at um, um, which one needs half. Got an extra two points here. I hadn't noticed those points. Just gonna pop them in something else. Pop them in my construction section. Mission operations, shielding, and gunner. Well, gunner. Maybe make 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 that make Alex good at weapons. Maybe not research, not medical. Botany is important, but I've already got two people sorting out botany. So yielding, I guess. Got that extra point. Hard working. Perfect. Now I just need two more. And I don't know who I'm going to have them as. Maybe I'll do, I'll make Tony.
feel free to suggest uh, the naming of the next character. Okay. So we've got uh, a, cl a clear spread of each um, skill so far. So one of these needs to be iron. I think we all know which one it's going to be. <laughs> Starting skill points. Done. Never surrender. Go, Davo. And I guess... Shit, I don't really know who to call this. I don't know. What color? What primary color? Oh, purple. They all have purple.
There we go. Oh, police officer, no! Material mover. Two, yep, construction. One, two, okay. Industry, one, two. Uh, botany, one, two. Medical. One. Two, research, one, two, weapons, heaps. All right, so I'm going to double up here. What do we need more of? Okay, so, time to double up. There we go. And we have created our crew, our starting crew. Let me just go through and make sure I've got all the skill points assigned. We are good to go. Oh. Yes. Thank you.
Yay, there they all are. Oh shit, now I need to remember how to fucking play this game. Damn, okay. That's that programs. There it is. There's my pillar of autumn. Let me see if I can show, put, pop that on the screen so you can see what I'm going to plan to do. Landing my ship. Basically what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do a planning, go into the planning phase to sketch an area. Slave areas, well, sketch. So I can use this to. Oh, they've put a little halfway point on it, making it easier for me to do. How lovely. Um, but yeah. From memory, I might need more. Um, engines, but that's not too much of an issue. That's six by whatever. However many number of squares that is. How many squares is that? One, two, by sixteen. Recount one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen years. And then this one comes across one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight by three, eight by three. Go. Next one comes up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, eight by five. This one. Three. That's supposed to be the halfway point? Wait a minute. Oh, okay, that's what I've done. I just need to move it across and down by one.
that's what six six by one eight and then so eight then this should come out by eight there we go it's a bit better okay seven seven and however much that is Ugh. Doesn't seem that. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. It's just off a little bit, I think, for some reason. Oh, that was my fault again. Okay, yeah, much better. Okay. Five. Five by 
what if that is coming out like that how many times one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five so one two three four five and then that one which comes out to be a little bit further across oh shit Basically, from here, it comes down by three and it goes up by one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. This is just a basic plan of how I plan to build this ship. Go. Use that one, two, three, four, five, six, wait, four, eight, twelve. Okay. Eight, twelve, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And so that's going to be another four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So. I think I'm, I think I'm off again. It's the center line. There's the center line there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then Oh, I see. Who in this point? Yes, there we go. We making it. 
We making it good. Deviate from the sketch a little bit here. Mirror the um, other side because, yeah, I'm going to need to do that anyway. So, one, two, three. So, it's two and three. Works there. This section is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen across. Right up to the top there. Fifteen across. Let's double check by the edge. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Bad. What's this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Hey, to a Marilyn Manson concert? No, uh, I would not. I, 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 I would not support Marilyn Manson, honestly, myself. I, I'm not a big fan. Like, music, whatever, but him, uh, yeah, nah. Nah, 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 nah. Nope. Fuck that guy. He used to stick a microphone up his ass. What, the guy in the stream? Pixar, it didn't happen. <laughs> Damn it. You came in and I immediately have to go to the toilet. What are you doing? And made everyone in the crowd shove their fist up everyone out, everyone's asses. Yeah, that, that. And then everyone clapped. <laughs> Fucking. Pix! Pixar, it didn't happen. Fuck.
This is that 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 seems so fake. <laughs> Not gonna lie, super super saucy, super saucy sounding information there. All right. What have we got in the way of our stuff? All right. I can't remember which ones are better. Resource display settings for the HSS Arago. Arago. Let's see. Most important shit to know about is like Hyperion and shit. Like, yeah. Energy rods and hyperfuel are like the most important things as well. Energy cells cells become important later on. Particularly want to get notified of that shit all the time, but definitely want to get notified when water gets low. Sentry gun? Fuck yes.
So that's that part done. Copy settings. Paste settings. That's those settings done. Uh, do all right. Damn it, things in the way. Twitch chat, toggle the borders. Right, put the put that one up there for now. Actually, no, that's gonna be in the way as well. Damn it, stupid um, hard being always forever in the way of my Twitch chat. Or well, my Twitch chat always being in the way of the HUD. See if this if this is going to be a, an okay place to put it. All right, so uh, priorities. Just because I like having them in a particular order. There we go. Alright, uh, navigate. The highest priority is that construction, lowest priority out of all of these research is second priority logistics is high. All right, now we do the same thing with the lowest, lowest, middle, shield highest priority. Operations highest priority. Um, medical. Yeah, don't do medical if you don't know how to do medical. Um, botany is uh, lower priority is construction. Maintenance is lower priority. Mining is high priority, industry is high priority, research is nope, logistics is relatively high priority. Okay. Navigate highest, gunner lowest, uh, medical highest, botany Lowest, construction, highest, maintenance, highest, highest, um, 
Mining, lowest. Industry is neutral. Research is highest. And logistics is relatively high. I don't know why I put that down to middle, up there with my, with my Lucy me, me as Lucy. All right, navigate. Jordan is highest there, lowest there. Oh wait, did I already do this one? I think I did. Yeah. All right, let's do this one. Again. This one, this one here is neutral, that one's lowest. Lowest, uh, don't do medical if you don't know how. Botany, meh. Construct, high. Maintenance, high. Mine, high. History, high. Research, not at all. If you don't know how to do it. Alright, Devo, navigate, high. Neutral, lowest, lowest. Medical, botany, high, construct, should be lowest, maintenance lowest, mine is neutral, lowest industry, don't research, and uh, logistics. Cool. And then we've got a lowest, highest, neutral, lowest, nope, botany, lowest, Construction highest, maintenance highest, mining my highest, industry lowest, research neutral, and then logistics down there. Cool. Schedule. Basically, the schedule um, should be thirds, basically. So five, four hours of sleep and three hours of free time. So let's let's clear out the start the day at six. Yeah. Set their sleep schedules because that's an important thing to do. Done. This biz. 
got uh, research that can be done, but I don't want to do research just yet. Basically, all we need to do is send... First, we need to find the guns. So, oops, see daisies, I forgot that that button does that. Okay, so, find the guns. Where are the guns? Guns in there? No. Guns in here? No. Guns in there? No. Where are my guns? Do people already have guns? Oh, they'll they'll seek it out. Ah, okay. Well, I'll just I'll just do um. There's on here. There's should be four guns. So I'm gonna. Legendary. Five seven pistol. Five seven pistol. Five seven pistol. Five seven pistol. All right. So hopefully they'll pick up the. Um, five, seven pistols. We can do augmentation slots. What? That's so cool. Well, I'm looking forward to figuring out this stuff. No. These guys will hopefully, hopefully be overridden by that. Um... This has got this stuff here, but yeah. I'm just going to pause quickly and uh, head to the ladies' room, um, and I shall be right back afterwards. So don't go anywhere or do. Either way, I will be right back after this short break. Thanks.
and I'm back. All right, let's do this. Some more building. All right, so everyone should be going out mining. Critical resources no low of Hyperium and freezer. I do. Un I do not. Start building my spaceship. Yeah, I will in a sec. Just want to make sure. Ability. What are you carrying to this facility? They're all working. And I like. Where are the guns? Where are the guns? Eh. Oh, they're there. The guns are there. I want to draft these ones. Soon. That's alright, I don't need to do this freaking thing so far, just yet. Alright, let's start uh, building some hull. Um, so I'm gonna u I use this as a guide, it's a really good starting guide for me personally to figure out where I want shit to be. Um, but generally speaking, you need to have your um, airlock dealt with first. So the first thing you really need is this section of your ship. So yeah, that's the part that I'm going to build. So it needs to be, what are we looking at? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Thirteen um, in basically, so thirteen by eleven. Pew. Ah, I fucked it. Didn't want to fuck it, but I did. Let's cancel that hole, and that hole, and that hole. Cancel all the. Oh, cool. Oh, sweet. Let's do it again. Start from sketch. Activate sketch. There we go. Thirteen by eleven. There we go. That's much better. So that'll be a good start for getting materials over to the ship at very at the very least. So for that, basically, at the moment, yeah, how much that is to activate. But it was about eleven. It was about eleven. Um, so I've got twenty six hull blocks at this stage. Um, yeah. And I can sort of like go from there to build this whole section here. Whether I want this 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 part in the middle or on the sides, I haven't decided yet, but I could just flip it. It's just a general guide for me to make it easier for me to figure out what's being built. Also, I want them to get their guns. For goodness sake, get your guns! Are you close? Are they close enough to get the guns? Can I? Can I? No, no, not close enough. I'm just going to keep my eye on them and see if they get close enough. But yeah, I basically want this. I, I just want. If there's less than one to build a. Oh, that's good. These are some good um, things. Oh. So at the moment they're mining for resources.
Okay. Uh, the ship isn't stable yet, but that's like to be expected. Has anyone picked up their guns yet? <gasps> Yay! Ah, oh, Davo's picked up his gun. Hell's yes. Brox hasn't yet though. Corey hasn't either. Yay, so they've started building it. I need to wait until they've built up uh, up the side so I can build like this part of my ship. Hey, you picked up the gun. Corey, get your gun. <laughs> oh, Jordan's making some progress. That's pretty nice. I think I can handle it. Here we go, that's the first part of the Pillar of Orton. Unfortunately we can't, like, name the shuttles, because that would be fucking awesome. He still doesn't have a gun. Both Debo and Rox do, though. But while they're building this. Oh shit, I forgot about these. Eh, fuck it. I'll be building the better ones very shortly. Unfortunately though, I can't deconstruct any of this shit. Because it doesn't belong to me, but that's fucking annoying, assholes. Everyone's got their guns. Oh, 
Where are you? Return home! Alright, so. Raft. Into the craft. Also, I'm gonna get my food. Very healthy uh, breakfast of, well, not breakfast, lunch of a pie and nuggies. Pie and nuggies. That, that is my that is my meal for today. Pie and nuggies. Pull up the pie and nuggies. Okay, so they're all going to go to the ship. Once they're on the ship, we're going to explore the um, derelict. Okay, they're all in the ship. It is time. The dock. I like to dock, like, not in the actual, um, hangar, because it means that they can, like, shoot enemies, possibly, from a distance. They- Now I can shoot them from a distance instead of them fucking me up. Alright, Davo. You're our bait. Come at us, bros. Come on. I know you saw him. Hey. Oh yeah, come on. Come on. It's better to play it safe. Like, especially early game as well. These things can be like, a bitch. They can really fuck you up, if you, especially if you don't have a, um... <clears throat> I wonder if I can do a... Go for it, man. Yeah, see, now he got an open wound, which sucks. Um, shit. Oh, I can't do it. Oh no, my earphones are dying. Bullshit. Chronic wound, fuck you! See, they're like super fucked. It's gonna take uh, a medical bed to heal, which I don't even have yet. 
Fucking amazing. Maze balls. Data log. New data log. Oh, this is this. These are the old ones. Damn, they are fucking beastie in this mode. There we go. Alright, we've explored the ship and there is pretty much nothing on it. Crafting, now we can salvage everything. Do I have a bed? Oh, I do have beds! Aha! Wait. But yeah, they can start off a bit slow because, you know, you're still building your ship. But th I'm building this part, of, um, this part of the wing right now. This little bit here. This bit. This bit, this bit of the wing. That bit. Oh, it's an incoming ship? I didn't even realize they started doing that. X1 airlock? Does that mean that they can add, they've added more? That would be pretty cool if they add more stuff. There we go. We have added an airlock. Wonderful.
I think it's cool that they're going to be adding, um, like, um, fixed stations and stuff. Oh my gosh. If this becomes like a colonization game, like a, like a sandbox expansion game, that would be sick. <clears throat> Bevo's still healing. And still mining as well. I don't think there's anything I should really trade at this point, though. As long as I don't, like, start stealing our shit. <laughs> you build shit now. Is still uh poor guy. Poor poor man, my poor Davo. Hey, there we go. We now have Well now we have this. We've got the um new spaceship started now. Um you're gonna build that large storage. Yep. Important thing to have. Then from there, I might start moving shit across, depending on what it is.
<laughs> There's not much else that I need to send across just yet. And I could also build another ship as well while I'm here. Like another one. That'd be hilarious. Here's the thing, what the, the problem I'll face to start with is um, being able to build the ships, because like the amount of hull blocks I have, I don't have enough to like build this whole ship that I've got here. So I need to be um, clever with how I build it. Currently, I've got this section here, so if I build across and, um, you know, systems, you know, put the hyperdrive there, that should be fine. If I put the hyperdrive there, I think. I should have enough space to go around it later uh, when I need to build down to the um, actual engines that I want to build. Hmm. <laughs> But I do need power as well, so that's going to be a thing. Um, so power is a 3 by 3. Do I have enough room for the 3 yet? No. Not in this, not in this section here. Um, so if I was to build the hyperdrive there, and the power generator here, see, so that would work. I'm basically just trying to keep keep it to use as few um, blocks as possible, as few as few um, hull blocks as possible. So let's uh, cancel that and build out. So how much do I need for this? I need uh, this is four by four. Four by four. So basically, six would be enough. 
for that. Please my help me there we go. One, two, three, set. One, two, three, four. Oh. Building out by five, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> cool. And from there I'll build the um, bits that I need. I've also started sending um, the supplies I'll need across. See? Now we can build those parts. They're building walls as well. It's going to be useful. Two, three, one. Hold on. So this is going to be three, three. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, so one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. What the fuck? Second. Can I even build that there now? Ah. <sighs> I want to build a pot, two pod hangers there. I think it automatically builds a um, corner then. Huh, interesting. But that's right. At this point. Those walls. It's a three. It's three walls. Yeah, that's a three. It's one door. Yeah, cool. Right, rotate it again. Ah, I see.
I like how wind, wind I like having windows. There we go. All the walls. The door I'm not gonna put in yet because that uses infra blocks, which I which you know, if you can avoid using infra blocks at the start, it actually helps you out later for later. Um yeah. Also, power has changed since I last played, so this is going to be interesting. Oxygen generator and a gas scrubber. But like temporarily, I'm going to be putting them here. I think. Hold on. Yeah, that should be fine. And then, yeah. Shuttle hangar. And two pod hangers. The 
that ass, that ass scrubber. Ha <laughs> ha! See, I'm funny. Gas scrubber there. To build some hull blocks because we are out of them right now. Apparently. Wait. Now we got five. I'm not sure how the power works now. Because it doesn't look like you need the power generator thing anymore. <laughs> I think it goes by room now, I suppose. Because there's an advanced power grid as well. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of liked the way it was before, but I don't know. We'll learn. We'll learn. We will learn. Oh my gosh, they've got names. Yeah, yes. The mighty Rust Bucket is going to be relocated. Right here. Gib Or. <laughs> and Wormy. I'm, I'm, Gib Or is be going, to, going to come across, so relocate here. Testing. Testing. Yeah. Still working. Good. All right. Crew requires beds and a toilet. All right. Well, beds and a toilet is, I guess, my next objective. But I. I only have five more hull blocks to use, so I do have a bunch of raw materials, but I don't know how long how long that's gonna last for. So let's have a look here. 
at the refinery jobs. Okay, so that's got that in there. There we go. Continuous scrap. Let's get that scrap um, done. Hang on. What I'd really want to do is activate this sketch up to here, but I would require 27 uh, fucking hole blocks, so that ain't happening. So in that case, I'm going to have to build up here and figure out a way of doing it. I'll have to move. Th I'll have to move the stuff later. So like, that's um. Just build up as far as I can here. 4.7 hull blocks, there we go. And uh, yeah, do that instead. Three, four, five, six,
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Getting by three. We're gonna have to. That won't be interesting at the very least. I do have insufficient resources though to do this right now, but hopefully they'll make enough so I can uh, do that.
So. Beds. Ah, okay, so this has finally changed. Damn! Oh, okay. So, bed, bed area and kitchen area need to be separate now. Damn. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, shit. So that's perfect sleep. Comfort for leisure time work. Alright. This one's uh, bedside tables. Oh, okay. Well, shit. I'm gonna have to think about how to do these things because this is going to be completely different from uh, what it was before. Yeah. Um. Huh. Very interesting, actually. <laughs> All right. No, I like that. That's that's pretty cool. Sleep comfort of a bedroom. Ah, so now do. Everything else um, affects that now, the comfort of the uh, room. I only have two people sleeping at a time. That uh, won't be a huge issue.
Mm. Well, I might end the stream for today, I guess. But yeah, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself and take care of someone else. It's been a quiet one today. See what happens tomorrow. <laughs>